Ya. The Raw vs. Tidal Wave! Who will win? Alright, it's been over a couple huh? months since we've done recording the Dora vs. something lastly, right? Anyway, since I just noticed something pretty interesting last night, it's about a top 1 demon. Alright, we all unexpectedly got a new top 1 demon, which is called Tidal Wave by Onilink GD. I never knew if this level exists in the game until definitely the best GD player, Joink, just takes the verifications and he actually did he actually verified after taking uh more than a uh, 50k attempts I'm inside the wave! Oh my god! This is actually so much more than what he did on the other verification before, like Avernus and uh, even Archeron. He verified the entire top three, which is crazy. I'd simply say that great job, Joink! You made a history again following the Archeron verifications. So, what do I need to say more? Let's take a look at it. Let's see how hard it is, how exactly hard it is. I actually have no idea how long it'll take to me. <laughs> Just wish me luck to Bruh. finish off this top 1 demon stuff. As soon as the level begins, there's several timing words. Just is welcoming us. Okay, first time I just watched the joint verification of this tidal wave. The song of this level sounds pretty good actually. I'm a huge fan of this song. So I do really love it. So let's see if I also do love the gameplay as well. Maybe not. One, one, two, three, four. One, one, two, three, four. <laughs> <laughs> I've been suffering from this freaking only one second swing copter gameplay for so long. Holy shit. What is wrong with this wave gap? Huh? No, I mean, it's not that tricky, but imagine if just playing at four times speed, I guess. Is that a four times speed, right? Oh, 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 oh. one, two, three. Ah, ah, ah. Yo, this beginning gameplay is actually so much fun that I actually thought. The first pre-drop took me more than 300 items, right? Oh my god, that was wild. But it's just the beginning, bro. I'ma just use the up arrow key instead. Oh crap, just look at it. This gap seems like a way harder than the Sonic Wave gap, you know? How the fuck did I get through there with the four times speed? That's nearly impossible, bro. Why do they put the tons of freaking tiny spikes on the slow plots? Dude, holy shit, this game's unreal, actually. Oh, wow! Ah, ha, ha. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Two hours later. Yeah. 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 That. Okay, we got to uh, a mini wave gameplay. Finally, that means it gets much harder than before. <laughs> help! I quickly send help, bro. Oh, yeah! Oh my god, I'm too good, bro. Look at this! How many hit boxes does this? One single spike have? Oh! <gasps> Do I fucking need to get through this between the saw blades? Really? This makes literally no sense. I would just simply say how and why. 
Stop putting spikes on the platform. I'm begging you, please. Boxes issues. This is absolute pain for me. Oh. Zoink! Oh, oh, satisfying moment. Yes. Okay, I just fall to 1.5 seconds straight. Oh, I'm such a god, bro. Wait. Okay, firstly, we go just up with the mini wave gameplay. And like. As so let's just go in down there and get uh, a bigger porter. It's impossible, bro. Come on. Okay. Can I fool the last f few clicks? Okay. I think yes. Whoa! Please make the level more bright, bro. To see where's the freaking exact gameplay. Actual gameplay. I cannot see little anything. Hit that, hit that, hit that, hit that. One, two... One thousand! Not even surprising that we go past the one thousand attempts. Before we actually hit the halfway, dude. Oh! Oh! Okay. Okay, we almost get to the halfway on this level, which is cool. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Okay, you're in the build-ups for the second drop. How nice it is! And stop putting this kind of gameplay to it. <laughs> The easiest part in the level. Yo, this gap is free. I'm in it's not. I'm in it's not. Second drop. Second drop. Oh. Oh. Okay. You see that? I'm getting much better on this kind of the wave, which is kind of good signal, right? Hmm, okay. The second drops wave. This part is actually so good. It's much more playable than the first wave drop. Honestly, in my opinion. A few minutes later. Zoink! I'm, I'm practicing a uh, tidal wave and, and send the help. Ah, I'm almost there, bro. Keep it up. I saved it, but that's freaking goofy wave keeps going. Oh god. Ah 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 ah. ah. <laughs> Who made this? Who made this gameplay? I'm seriously asking you, bro. <laughs> oh, f bro. Okay, okay. The last stretch, bro. There's only 15% uh, away from the 100% completion. One, two, 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 one, two. Oh! <laughs> the last part. We got a sunset sunset sandstorm. <laughs> okay, we got a sunset themed. Uh huh. Basically, it was a uh, beach themed, and it actually turned into the sunset themed. And okay, visually great looking. Oh, you're almost there! Please, come on! I clicked, bro.
This to me more than what I did in the slaughterhouse and firework and octoris, like literally everything. During uh, playtesting time, I was the freaking in, in the nightmare. I had so bad experience. This level is genuinely hard, just ridiculously hard. No way, man. What do you mean it does that? I said it's literally impossible and Zoink said it does that. Okay, Tidal Wave. Throw me versus Tidal Wave. And you won. Not me. Throw or lose. Tidal Wave won. Okay, before I actually end this recording this video, you guys have been wondering how far Dora actually could get in the tidal wave. In the normal mode, I'm in. So, let me just try it out. Once at least. Yeah, tidal wave. How far I could get. Yeah. Ah!